Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, let's tip back a cold one at Penguin City Brewery. And I prepare fresh strawberry dressing and a Tom Collins with strawberries. But first, I pick my own strawberries in Mesopotamia. We're here in Mesopotamia at Ridgeview Farm. And Ridgeview Farm, right now we are in high season for PYO, that's Pick Your Own Strawberries. And Sharon Grover and her husband, you own this farm. How long have you guys been out here? My husband and Steve, my husband Steve and I have been out here for 25 years, but the farm has been in his family since 1926. So, were you a farm girl when you married yeah, him? Absolutely not. And you became I'm still a not a farm girl. <laughs> I grew up in Warren, Ohio, and some days I wake up and wonder what the crap am I doing here. No, I grew up in Warren, Ohio, in a little postage stamp with my four sisters and my mom and dad. And my dad worked in the steel mill and. Um, married my husband and then I became a farm girl, but I, I technically don't take that title. You don't. <laughs> so you are just uh, happen to be living out here, a lady of leisure, but uh, the strawberries. Has yes. his family always grown them? No, my husband and I started growing strawberries um, the year before we got married. We planted our first patch right over here. Now, and the good thing is, you know, these are on the dirty dozen list <laughs> for the organic people yes. because, you know, there's no protective skin. Right. You know, and you really work with, you were saying earlier. We, we do very minimal spray. Like, for instance, my garden, which I have two of them going on, yeah. they're totally organic. We don't use any sprays on them at all. For strawberries, we use very minimal. So um, when you get shipped in product, they have a schedule maintenance that they spray every exactly. all the time. And so we're very careful. Plus, their exp- sprays are expensive. And, and we don't want to be exposed to them. And because of that, I mean, once you pick them, their shelf life's pretty short, right? Very You've short, got a few just, days to use right, these. We don't put any pesticides and we also pick them red. So when you get California strawberries or strawberries from a different um, state, mm-hmm. <clears throat> they don't wait till they ripen well. That's why they see those white centers. And that's why ours are so sweet. So we tell people, if you buy them today, use them today, use them tomorrow. Come back, get what you need the next day. Don't buy more than you can use. And how long is the pick your own season? The pick your own season is normally about two weeks. And then the rest of the time, you'll just have them We just pick for our sale. store. Our store comes first because we have a lot of elderly that come mm-hmm. in and buy them and they can't pick anymore. So we have a lot of customers that are consistent every year they come. But, and so we have to make sure we have enough in the store. Store comes first, pick your own is second. And we do that purposely so we can take care of our ongoing customers that used to pick when they were older, oh, but yeah. can't pick now. Because I mean, these are low hanging fruit. I mean, you've right. got to get down there and dig. <laughs> I can get down, I just can't get back up. <laughs> But I mean, it is worth it. These are so juicy. Now, yes. are you, what do you do with yours? Okay, are you a baker? So I actually, just the other day, it was a rainy day, so I made freezer jam, put it in my freezer. And I also made syrup for ice cream. And I use low sugar because they're so sweet. So I don't, yes. the recipe calls for seven cups. I use four. Wow. So I don't use as much sugar in mine because I just don't want to have all that sugar. I'd rather taste the strawberries. What else do you grow out here at Ridgeview Farm? So we grow sweet corn. And then we grow pumpkins for the fall. We have fall fun weekends. So we grow a lot of pumpkins and people like to come out and pick their own pumpkin and bring their children out. And now we're getting the children that used to come 25 years ago are bringing their, their kids. kids. And I said, you're making me feel old. How and many so acres are here? We have 101 acres. Wow. <laughs> now, are you going to take me to the field? Yes. Um, because I'd like you to learn proper etiquette. Yes. And the right way to pick strawberries if you come yes. on out to Ridgefield. And there is a right way to pick strawberries. Now, in picking a strawberry, do you take the whole stem or do you just want... So what we do is we pinch it off here, right here. Yeah. And then the nice thing about strawberries is they talk to us. Did you know that? No, I don't. Are you a strawberry whisperer? I'm a strawberry whisperer. Now listen, if you listen very carefully, this should pop. Did you hear that pop? Yes. That's when you know they're ready. So you always pick just the right, the bright red ones. Bright red ones, but listen to a pop. Then you know it's ready. If it doesn't pop, let's do this one. Well, that one popped. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's not right. It popped only because it... See, that's not right. So they don't want this one. They want to make sure they're nice and red. How do you make sure that people aren't wasting your product? 
You know, I mean, how do you do that when you just send him into the field with a carton and you're like, all right, I'll go crazy. So how we, do you make sure that they like we have, follow guidelines? We have three different pickers, okay? okay? One picker is the experienced picker that has picked and probably has their own garden at home. Okay. Those people will pick clean because they appreciate garden, they've worked hard, they understand it. The second person you have is your workers. Um, mainly Amish people that come in and pick for us, we pay them. And because they're frugal and they don't like to throw things away, yes. they'll pick clean for you. Okay. And then you have your third person. Uh oh, let's hear here. about this third person. <laughs> who came out here for an experience, has either never picked strawberries or never grown a garden, so they don't really understand how things grow. So we try to talk to them as best we can about picking clean, because if they don't, if we don't clean the field off in two days, that strawberry is going to be bad and we'll lose it. Yeah, okay. I love when people bring their children to pick their own because children these days do not have any idea where their, far their food comes from. Exactly. They play that video game. It's a farming video game on TV or on the internet or whatever. Not a clue how it comes. So our favorite thing to do is teach children where their food comes from because then they can respect it. And That's understand. true. Yes, because when children come and they have a lunch pack, sometimes they didn't even pack their own lunch. So they really don't know. So I tell them, look in your lunch when they're eating lunch. Look in your lunch. Tell me something that's in your lunch that a farmer didn't grow. And they give me a blank look. And I said, everything in your lunch, a farmer grew somewhere. Oh my God, that Casey Malone show is the best. She's the absolute funniest person I've ever met in my life. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. RS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RS Paint. Mayflower Wilm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, Farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. Well, when you get fresh strawberries during strawberry season, you know the shelf life is not very long. You've got to eat them within a few days, oh, especially right. when they're locally picked because they don't use preservatives, they don't use all the pesticides, and they don't pick them until they're ripe. So they are at their peak of flavor right now. A lot of people um, make jams, um, a lot of people, you could freeze these, but smoothies. Um, smoothies are excellent. And I use them in salads. And I have a great recipe for a salad dressing with strawberries in it. And uh, and then after that, I'm gonna make my uh, signature cocktail oh, with strawberries. That's my favorite. <laughs> I know. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of fresh strawberries, washed, hulled, sliced in half. One third cup of extra virgin olive oil, 
one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, the juice from one lemon, and salt and pepper to taste. Now for the salad dressing, I think the best way to do it is in a blender. Yes. It's easier and then you can pour it out. Now this particular recipe is enough for really one big salad. Yeah. Um, if you want to double it, triple it, whatever you can, and then you can store the extra in your refrigerator, it should last a good seven to 10 days. It does. It does. You know, as long as it stays cold. And all I did was throw together a salad with some greens. Um, I'll tell you what's really nice with this is a peppery green, like the arugula or something. And then of course, strawberries and um, some toasted pecans. Uh, I did some blue cheese and a little red onion for the bite. And uh, to make a meal, just add some grilled chicken. That's right. And then you've got your main entree. But let's start with the dressing. So this is one cup of fresh strawberries that have uh, been prepared. Then we're going to add the extra virgin olive oil. I really like balsamic vinegar with this and the lemon juice. These are the acids and it really kind of counters all that sweetness and salt and, salt and pepper, we might as well add it now. Um, you really don't need a lot of salt or pepper, but salt always enhances a salad dressing. So add a little bit of that and a couple grinds. I mean, this is super easy. Anybody can do this. So, but I really do like this recipe. Let me move this out of the way. And then we just blend it till it's smooth. That's beautiful, that Beautiful is. color. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look beautiful? Mm, it smells even better. You gotta give it a taste. I wanna see what you think. I don't think you've had my salad dressing yet. Oh, that's delicious. Isn't it? You could drink you this could just eat it. <laughs> and Put some ice cubes in there. And you know, depending on how much dressing, <laughs> this is a good cup of dressing. And then you just take it and pour it over your salad. Uh, Isn't that look good? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot that very in the good. corner. So there is some left in this recipe too. And uh, just put that in the jar and uh, it'll stay in your refrigerator for a good week. Uh, but what to drink with this salad? Oh no, that's, this is the best part. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash this pitcher out and uh, we'll be back with our Tom Collins with fresh strawberries. All right, so you are gonna love this drink. Mm. This is a really refreshing drink. You like Tom Collins? I do, Doug. Now, I, do. I have a little quiz, Mom. Yes. If it's a John Collins, what is the alcohol? A bourbon. Very good. That's because I and, have bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you use vodka, it's just a Vodka Collins. Yes. They don't have a cute name no, for it. No. But a John Collins is with bourbon. Uh, when I was younger, Tom Collins was the summer drink. It was. Really was. Yes. Well, I'll tell you, it, it is refreshing. And uh -huh. it, the strawberry makes it really nice. So here is what we're going to do. This is enough for two cocktails. And we have our Collins glasses, which are usually tall and thin. And we're just going to put the strawberries, another cup, back into the blender. And for just a hint of sweetness, and even though the strawberries are naturally sweet, I add a little agave instead of um, like a simple syrup, mm -hmm. a little uh, agave nectar. So what we're do gonna do is basically the same thing we just saw. And all I'm gonna do is puree it again. And you see how quickly it goes. And we're gonna divide it equally between the two glasses. We are going to split the juice from one lime equally. Okay. And then for this drink, and I always recommend, please, please, please use your, <laughs> measuring. your measuring because, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna do three ounces of gin. So we'll split that ounce and a half each. Okay, so uh, mom, give it a whirl. We're going to add a little club soda. 
there you go and finish it off. Stir a little bit more. See? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this beautiful drink. And we'll garnish them with a little strawberry right there. I slid them, but I don't know if I can get it on. That's kind of fancy, isn't it? It is. All right, so what do you think? Nostrovia. Cheers. Oh, Casey. Isn't that delicious? That's delicious. It is such a summer refresher. Oh my. That is delicious. Mm. Wonderful. Just a nice, mm. light, summer <coughs> treat. I mean, you've got to take advantage of them because right now, we are in peak season. Go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com, and you'll have the recipe for the um, fresh strawberry dressing and for the Tom Collins with fresh strawberries. And uh, here's to us. Here's to us. None, None better. better. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you, from cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room and over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaking because they're gonna wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not gonna wear it forever, they're gonna pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime and we wanna make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. He is back. That's right, Rude, the dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery is open for business. Oh, so glad. Yes, Casey, first I want to thank everybody, all of our guests that have supported us over the last few weeks. Uh, it's, it's been amazing just to see the response, but yeah, we're back in effect. Patio's open, inside dining's open, we're back to full menu. We'll be supporting all of our farms again, all of our local breweries, back to our happy hours, our weekend specials. So, you know, we're following all the guidelines, the staff's excited, and it's just, we're, we're ready just to get back and keep going. Farm to table, great service, of course, a huge selection of beer and wine, and 
Oh, I am just so glad. I yes. missed you, Reed. Yes, we are looking <laughs> forward to it. So thank you again to the community, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Come on out, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Well, today is a really big day for Penguin City Beer. No, it's not really your grand opening. No. Because you have been open, but yeah. in your new digs. This is the grand opening down here at the B&O. Yes. And Aspasia Liris is one of the owners. And how long has this been going on, this whole Penguin City beer adventure? Um, I would say we came up with the idea in uh, 2017, in summer of 2017. And uh, that's when we started the company uh, talking about it, getting it ready. It took about a year of us like, you know, getting ready, building the marketing plan, coming up with the recipe. So I'm a big promoter of anything downtown. Mm -hmm. And my husband is a beer enthusiast. A beer enthusiast, so, that's a nice way to put it, yeah. <laughs> so when we came up with this idea, I, you know, we said if we do this and we create this beer company, I would love to be able to keep supporting and promoting the town of Youngstown and downtown. So that's how the name and everything just kind of came together to like, let's make this company be for the city of Youngstown. And what made you start now? I love this, the Lost River. Lost this River. is going to be the next offering. Now this is yes. a hard seltzer and it's peaches from White House Fruit Farm yes. and ginger. Why did you feel the need to get a, another product? Um, well, because everybody was guessing. You know, they were thinking that it was going to be another beer, a beer style. So the whole year we were trying to come so up with what's going to be So how did you keep that under wraps? So it was just like the three of you knew about hard. this? It yeah, was that's kind of cool. The it was secret. fun. Yeah. It, I just, I love hearing like people guessing and wondering mm -hmm. and asking. So it was fun to like play with that. And then, um, and then a dollar of every case goes to Friends of the Mahoning River. So I do like the tie-in with, you know, that whole theme. Well, one of the other owners here at Penguin City Beer is Richard Bernanke. This is Aspasia's, uh, well, she's the better half. True. And uh, <laughs> you are the beer enthusiast. Yes. So when you were coming up with the idea, you actually developed the original recipe for Penguin City Beer. Yes. Did you become a home brewer to do that? I did. <laughs> I wasn't a brewer before that. I mean, I was a consumer of beer for many years. And uh, how many uh, batches did you go through? I um, mean, did you know that you wanted to do a Pilsner type beer? You yeah, I wanted something yeah, nice and light, but um, distinctive, a little more body than your regular American light lager. And, but you're not the brewer now. You hired an mm -hmm. actual yes. brewmaster. Yeah, Doug Beatty, who's doing brewing work right now. And how did you find Doug? He, uh, he was recommended to us uh, through, uh, I think Greg Wormley, who has yes, the, the, pump the pump house, the brew yeah. shop. Mm -hmm. Said, gotta get in touch with Doug. He's a uh, head brewer at Elevator right now, but he heard about you guys and he wants to help you out. Cause Doug brewed here 20 some years ago at, when it was the B&O yes. brewery. Oh my gosh. So yeah. is he originally from the area? Yes. And now he's back. And now he's back. So Doug Beatty is the brew master, and you have made this whole vision come alive. Mm -hmm. When you tasted the initial recipe that Richard brought you, what did you think? Uh, you know, I liked it. You know, it's not my normal thing. I'm not into lighter beers, but it's just a clean, easy drinking beer. You know, and I can I can see why people like it. Let's put it that way. No, I mean it's really sessionable. It's not super high in alcohol. Mm -hmm. What would you drink as the now you I would call a beer snob. I am a beer as snob. A, <laughs> as the brewmaster. Yep. So what is your idea? So I'm beer? really into uh, obviously like all professional brewers. I'm into IPAs, obviously. <laughs> but, but my favorite style, you know, if I go to a beer store and pick anything out, I'm looking for something French or Belgian. That, those are my styles. Saisons, you know, that's what I really like. Michael Pontikas is the other 
part of the puzzle here yep. with uh, the brewing company. And you really are in charge of all the marketing and the branding. Well, we all do it together, but when Aspasia and Richie came to me in 2017 to say, hey, we got this great idea. Do you want to get on it? I'm like, yeah, because it's family. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, one of the things when they first approached me with the whole concept, they're like, we need to talk to you. I'm like, all right, what is it? You know, mm -hmm. uh -oh. so we've got this name. We have the name. I'm like, what's the name? It said Penguin City Beer. I'm like, okay, two things. No rust in the logo, no steel mills, because that's where we were. We need to go yeah. forward. So been there, done that. Been there, done that. And that's the whole thing too. It's like, well, even when I tell my students, it, when you're building a brand, you, you have to build a story. And it's all started with family. You know, when she said, this is what it is. And I remember as a little kid, you know, growing up in Camel with Aspasia and I everything. I just love like, that, that everybody is local. I mean, yeah. you know, truly local. Yeah. And, uh, you know, original. <laughs> OG, you know, whatever. And I love it. So these, like, tough times don't last, but tough cities do. I mean, that is That's so been our true. mantra, too, yeah. And, yeah. and then I developed a, a logo that we had on our Facebook page. It's called We're Northeast Ohio's Toughest Pair. So everything with Jameson and Penguin City. So it's, yeah. it's been a great, great partnership with them. And, you know, with YSU now, and, you know, we're, we're the official beer of the Youngstown Phantoms. Yeah, that's so it's it's been a lot of fun. It's a, it's like a you know one of those things. It's like oh you get all giddy and, it, but at the end of the day we're still family. So whatever happens happens here, and then when we get home and that's just you know crack you know open a penguin and laugh and move on to the next day. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.